screen definitely looks different to me. I don't know why it does. Maybe I'm crazy. <coughs> oh, jeez. So that's starting. That's not good. Do, do, do. Where's the butterfly? I always like the butterfly. I don't have the butterfly anymore. What the shit? Smashy pants. Enter world. Um, so obviously, this first one is going to be Teldrassil. Hopefully, I assume. I assume you're still starting on Teldrassil. They haven't done the whole Teldrassil's on fire thing yet. Imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Storm Rage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyrande Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree, Teldrassil, and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it calls to Night Elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. Yeah, the enduring legacy of my shit. Now we don't that. Screw it way the fuck out. Definitely don't need that. Um, ba 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 ba. mask thing was a fun idea. Unfortunately, my glasses don't seem to want to sit on it properly. Maybe get another one of these rubber bands. Greetings, Smashy Pants. I am Ilthaline. My purpose in Shadow Glen is to train young warriors like you to ensure the balance of nature is maintained. The spring rains were particularly heavy this year, causing some of the forest beasts to flourish, while others suffered. Unfortunately, the Night Saber numbers grew too large, and they would devastate the other populations if they are not called. Dirty forth, young warrior. Thin the Saber population so that nature's harmony will be preserved. Alright, so, basically, it's time to murder some random-ass Night Sabers. Ha ha! I ain't scared of this guy. Check it. I got, uh, what are this abilities called? Slam. Oh, I forgot to turn on auto loot. Interface controls out. Turn again. I see you, young Night Saber. And I smash you with my slam. It went. It was a long time ago. Was up? All right. Doo -doo. Come on, I know he went through too many yesterday, didn't he? Oh, he did. Yep, there it is. You, sure you performed your duties well, Smash Pants. Seems you seem to know what you're doing. Perhaps I can task you with something a little more important. As you may well know, the corrupted and elder was supposedly wiped away. Yet something lingers. The creatures have not calmed, when all manner of problems still plague us. I need to deal with the Grelkin that have gathered to the west. And while you're there, I want you to search them for Felmos. You may help determine where the continuing corruption stems. What in the 
Smash again. Smash. It looks like the starting zones may not scale. These guys are a level ahead of me. That's fine. I'll still do the other zone. I remembered doing a pickup quest in that house. Vicious little Grell, I've been stealing from our food stores again. If you wouldn't mind lending a hand, they are sure to have mice stolen bags within their camp to the west. I would be glad to reward you if you can bring them back to me. Thankfully, the Grells aren't hostile, so I can run over here and grab five of these things in the roll bag. Like, what up? Bag of boom, tearing off in the druid. Wish I was a druid. Druids are awesome. <laughs> Orange juice is delicious. And it's good for you, too. I don't know. I don't have any spare supplies for my customers and all my stolen goods are recovered. Have you had any luck? A loon be praised! And you as well, young warrior. There are many young night elves in need of these, but I'd be more happy to give you one of my bags as a reward. I'm sure it will come in handy. Safe travels to you. Satisfy my suspicions, smashy pants. Bring to me the fell moss from the Grelkin. Your service to the creatures of Shadow Glen is worthy of reward, smashy pants. You confirmed my fears, however. The Grelkin are still tainted by fell moss, despite Teldrazil's blessing. Something sinister remains within the tree. I can only hope that the gnarled pine tribe of Furbog are free of corruption, or we are still in grave danger. You will look into this further and contact those who might be of aid. Thank you, warrior. Perhaps you are willing to aid us in further pursuing the corruption haunting Shadow Glen. Dentaria Silverglade, Priestess of the Moon, has offered to aid us. You should find her between the two pools just north of our great tree. Circle around the tree to reach her and offer her any help you can, young warrior. And I got new boots. Oh, new boots. I got new boots. New boots. Ooh, charge. Stuck on the tree. It is good that you've come quick. It seems your training progress is quickly. Our friend Evron has fallen to poison from the nearby webwood spiders. I contend to him to keep his state from deteriorating, but I need someone to gather an ingredient to prepare him an antidote. All around the ponds, you should find moon petal lilies. These flowers have great healing properties, and I can use them with the ingredients I already have to restore Avron to better health. Would you gather them for me? There should be many just in sight, near the water. Ding 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 dong ding 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 dong ding 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 ding
favor. Our dear friend is not doing well, even with my mending, having brought the supplies I require. These will do perfectly. Thank you, Smashy Pants. Your swiftness is appreciated. Best. I must ask something more dangerous of you. Strange news has traveled to me through the whisperings of the forest spirit, and the mysterious woodland protector, Terendrilla, has returned to Shadow Glen again. The Dryad's presence has not been felt in the forest since before the blessing of Teldrassil. Something is surely amiss if she has journeyed back to the land. Seek out Tin Terindrilla in the Shadow Thread Cave to the north. It is dangerous, but we will be prepared with the antidote just in case. I'm away! I see you found me, young night elf. Dentaria was wise to have sent you. I'd hoped to never return to Teldrassil for such grim business. I'd hoped that its corruption was been wiped away completely. Something foul lingers. These spiders suffer much more deeply than the corruption from These spiders suffer much more deeply from the corruption than the other nearby wildlife. They are becoming a danger to your people and a danger to the forest. We must thin their numbers, but more importantly, we need to find the source of the corruption that plagues them. I will come with you and aid you in this. Murder 12 spiders. The corruption these spiders suffer from is not simply surface deep. It cannot be magic or subtle name malintent. It is bred into them. It seems our next class task is clear. These spiders are born with corruption in their veins. Then their broodmother must be the root of this evil. Let us make our way to the far north end of the cavern and seek out Gilthus Gith Githis. The vial, the answer we seek, lie with her. With Githis lies clues to the corruption of Shadowclaw and the rest of Teldrassil. I want to equip that sword, it's an upgrade, right? It's one handed, but it's still an upgrade. <laughs> oh shit! Who's on top of Okay. Apparently, <laughs> that ability requires two handed weapon, that's why I did it. Yeah. Totem has been corrupting the eggs. It seems the greater threat to them is in all time are being tainted by something foul. Kithis and her brood were being corrupted by this totem. This is a furball totem. This is very troubling indeed. This means the gnarled pine are still a danger to these forests. Let us we let our guard down too soon. 
I will pursue the trail of Neural Pine and track this corruption to its source. If you ever encounter Arthritis, Bear Mantle, and Dolinar, he knows intimately of the problem that plagued the forest, and he can direct you on how to help further. I'm sure we will meet again with time. Perhaps you can aid me in dealing with the source of this corruption once I locate it. For now, I will take you back to Dentaria so that you may finish your training. Thank you for all that you have done. Smash it. You returned! It's good to see you. It must it seems you've dealt with the source of much of the corruption in Shadowland. Telder still still suffers, and we will need attention, but we can afford a moment or two for you to finish your training here in Shadowland. As part of the ritual to complete your training here in Shadowland, you must learn about our recent history. This is a task you must perform. Go to the Moonwell to our northeast and retrieve a file of its water. While there, you will witness a glimpse glimpse of our magics and learn of our past. When you are done there, bring the water back to me, and I will direct you further. <laughs> Moonwell is to the northeast, on the other side of the pool, and up the hill. Up the hill. Over the woods and through the trees, to Grandma's house with you. That's two M. Insert vial. Much has changed for our people since the Battle of Mount Heichel. <laughs> Nordersil lies a pale shadow of what it once was, its power used to defeat Archimonde and drive back the Burning Legion. Our immortality, the very essence of our beings, was lost. The betrayer was freed from his prison, and Shando Stormreach disappeared into the Emerald Dream. A dark time for all. The shade of the Caldor Eye closes his eyes as it fades away. And do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Learning Ding? What brings you here? No, work. Our recent history is fraught with strife and violence. There is still much with which we must come to terms. Well done, Smashy Pants. You have one task left before you depart Shadow Glen for the wild opens of Telthasil. Terran Stormgrip oversees all the happens in this glade. He presides at the top of Aldrasil. If you look to the south, you will see the underside of the ramp that leads up to him. Ascend the ramp and complete your training. It was wonderful to have met you, Smashy Pants. I swell with pride, knowing that among young night elves, there are some so selfless and full of life as you are. You will do great things for our people. You will do great things for the world. Until we meet again. <laughs> ramp up to Aldersil is right over there. Circle around and find Tarnan up to the top. Tanaron. 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 Words are hard. Get me wrong, I'm grateful to have Shondo Stormrage back, but this is really suspicious what happened to Fandral. Shh, someone's here. What up? Ah, oh, screeching for you. The Moonwell holds the waters of the Well of Eternity, the ancient source of magic that has wrought so many horrors upon our world. The druids take advantage of its properties, and the sentinels revere the wells as a shrine to a loon, and now even the returning highborn look to the wells longingly. So you have heard the first part of the aftermath of the Battle of Mount Hyjal. There is much more for you to learn, and a task that will be done here will continue through the rest of your journey through Teldrassil and into Darnassus. While there is more, I will speak to you of the Moonwells and of Teldrassil. I must send you along. Corthrus Moonrage will be expecting you. I have poured the vial of water you brought to me into this vessel to bring to him. Seek out Corthrus. He will, you will find him at the Moonwell in Dolinar. Follow the road south from Aldisil, out of Shadowglen, and continue to follow the cobblestones as the road turns west. Mind you, stay on the road, though, smashy pants. There are dangerous beasts in the forest. Maybe. Take with you the blessing the winds embrace. You will find the descent from Aldisil more direct.
achievement. You fell really far. Greetings, young warrior. Can you offer me aid? I have a package of herbs that I must deliver to the town of Dolinar, but I still have business with the druids of Shadow Glen and cannot yet leave. Can you deliver this package for me? It must be sent to the innkeeper Keldemir at the Dolinar Inn. It lies along the road to the south. Vroom vroom. Gotta drive slow. Oh. Follow the road, down the road, do some roady stuff. I am not high enough level to be quizzing on yet. That's fine. Let's kill some stuff. Woo! Let's go to town, turn these in, and then we'll come back. <clears throat> Town's on the far ahead. Oh, this guy has some crap in my throat. I'm here, motherfuckers. Can I assist thee? Your body looks warm, your spirit weary. Rest yourself beneath that roof and allow a loon to guide your dreams. How might I be of service to you, young one? Are you here to rest in the end? Do you require a hearthstone? Ah, yes, the delivery of herbs from Shadow Glen. It's a shame Porthanius could not bring it himself, for we have much to discuss, he and I, but I am glad that he got the herbs nonetheless, and I am glad to see you. While you are here, please rest yourself. Heroes must keep their strength and spirits high, and must find rest and solace whenever they may. For to neglect one's peace of body and mind is surely a path to failure. So, rest. Good luck, friend. Greetings, warrior. For what purpose do I owe the pleasure of our meeting? Ah, I see. You were sent by Tanaran. Well then, it would seem that we have much to talk about, much to do. Before we get to the task at hand, you should take in the lessons of this moonwell. Let me tell you more of the tasks you must complete. The druids and Darnassus use the water of the moonwells. Oh. Hold up, he's done. With Malfir and Stormrage gone, the druids were left in disarray, in desperate need of a new leader. Arc druid Fangdril Stormheim roused the druids and convinced the circle of ancients and dusk shore that it is time for the people to rebuild. In an effort to regain immortality for our people, and with the betray approval of the Circle of Strangholm and the most powerful druids grew Teldrassil, upon whose bows you now stand. Though we have our new home, our immortal lives have not been restored. The shade of the Calderai closes its eyes and fades away. Um, the druids and Darnassus use the water of the moonwells of Teldrassil, and their moonwell must be replenished from time to time. Using these specially crafted files, you, collect and you can collect the water of the moonwells. Take this vessel to the Moonwell outside of Starbreeze Village to the east and fill it with some of its water, then return to me. Pay heed to the lessons of the Moonwells, lest we find ourselves furthering our shortcomings. I got a level, so I'm assuming I can get Zen's bidding now. For whatever reason, it was saying I couldn't take it yet, so I'm assuming I was just too low level. I'm still too low level. Eager for work, I see. Lucky for you, a day never goes by that I don't wish I had a fledgling warrior to perform my bidding. You see, Smashy Pants, I can make you very happy and provide you with things you never dreamed of having, but in order for that to happen, you must bring me certain items. My business in the forest often requires certain reagents. Fetch for me Nightsaber Fangs, Didrid Owl Feathers, and Swatches of Webweb Spider Silk. Keep, let's keep this our little secret. Whoa. Stab it in the wood. Wood, wood, stab it in the 
You've been a busy little bee, Smashy Pants. I've been waiting for you to bring me what I need. Ha <laughs> ha, well done indeed. Who would have ever guessed that I, Zen Fellhoof, would have a night off to do my bidding? Certainly not me, but so it goes. This beloved world of ours is full of surprises. Three cheers for the naive and gullible. the forest has news that you aided Zen Falwolf. The satyr is an enemy of the forest. As a night elf, you should know better than to defile the forest by killing nature's creatures. You must redeem yourselves in the eyes of the council if you wish to remain a friend of Teldrassil. Teach Falwolf a lesson and you shall be redeemed. Fell cones are corrupted seeds that fall from the trees. They billow with green smoke. Give some to Falwolf. He'll think you have brought him a snack. What brings you? I was once given an emerald dream catcher from Garalos Talverthin. The Warden of the Druids in the Ban Thel borrowed it. This powerful amulet is able to siphon energy from the Emerald Dream, bestowing luck upon those who carry it. Sadly, I have not been able to retrieve it from my dresser in Starbreeze Village. Although Starbreeze was once a tranquil place, it has now succumbed to the corruption of the Furball that reside there. Perhaps you would be willing to recover my Dreamcatcher earlier. Alright, let's go. A troubling breeze blows through the forest. Garalos Talverthen serves as a great warden to the hibernating druids of the Talon and the Benethil Barrowden. His duty as the chosen protector of the sleeping is to ensure their safety so that the pact with Ysera remains fulfilled. But word from Garalos is now delayed and I grow nervous. Travel east to the Starbreeze village and bring back a report from Garalos so that I can put my worries to rest, knowing my dreaming brethren slumber safely. Yeah. <clears throat>
I just can't wait to get on the road again. 37. 37. Should be 10 long before our 37 quests. But, who knows? I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember the story of Phyllis over to this hub. And there's the guy with the plants. What do you have for me, Smashy Pants? A lovely snack, I presume? Ah, oh, what a sweet night elf. I knew you'd come in handy. No, this cannot be. You have duped me with your foul trickery. Do I mean a frog, turd? Rethink your life. Hello, Calderon. The Ark Druid approached the dragons for their blessing, as the dragons had placed on Nortisil in ancient times. But Norsdumu, Lord of Time, refused to give his blessing, chiding the Druid for his arrogance. In agreement, Alex Drazu also refused Staggerhelm, and without her blessing, Talbersil's growth has been flawed and unpredictable. Staghelm returned to his enclave in Darnassus, ever seeking a new direction by which to bless Talbersil and restore the immortality to our people. And Calderai closes his eyes and fades away. Thank the forest spirits you were here. I knew Athritus would sense trouble and send help. The Narlpine tribe's corruption has returned. They ambushed me as I left for the Benefel Barrow Den and proceeded to pillage Darby's village. Something in the forest has corrupted Ursal the Mauler, their chieftain, and he is using the evil powers of the Felmoss to drive them mad. I am too wounded to return to Eridos to bring him this great news. The task is left to you, young warrior. We can only hope that the deranged funeral pines have not made it to Benethel yet. The creatures of Shadow Glen is worthy of reward, Smashy Pants. You confirmed my fears, however. The Grail Clan are still tainted by Thought Moss, despite Teldrassil's blessing. Something sinister remains. I'm glad you were willing to atone for your mistakes. It speaks a great deal about your character. I have no task for you. I've gathered some iron root seeds. They are somewhat like falcones, but quite a bit more potent. Nature often responds very negatively to demons, and these iron root seeds prompt a very concentrated form of that reprisal. To our north, in Felrock, there are Grelkin that are far beyond redemption. Use the iron root seeds to root them before they ever become a more serious threat. Peace. 
Please move swiftly. I can only hope that my Emerald Dreamcatcher has been unharmed by the Furball. Have you recovered it yet, Smashing Pants? My Emerald Dreamcatcher is of great importance to me. It is a gift only given to few. Thank you for returning it, Smashing Pants. The Emerald! It is missing! My Dreamcatcher has been damaged! There is a band of Neuropine mystics located in the north of Starbreeze. I have heard reports that their leader, Rossius, the Dream Eater, has been wearing a necklace that glows green in the night. Now, seeing my Dreamcatcher, I am sure that he has stolen my Emerald. He would never realize that its power is useless to him. Find the missing jewel, Smashy Pants, and while you're there, clear out some of the corrupted mystics as well. Twisted hatred. I must warn you, Smashy Pants, this matter must stay between us. The satyr are enough of an embarrassment to us already, and this one is much too close to home. He is called Lord Melanus. He resides in the nearby cave of Felrock to the north, where he has gathered a large group of Grell warriors. His heart is black as night, and he plots something most foul. You must find him within his nearby cave, just in the north of here, and bring me his head. By the stars, this is quite disturbing indeed. We have troubles in the past with the corruption of the Furbolds, but such troubles should be long past since the cleansing of Teldrassil. I fear for all our people and the blessings of the Aspects. Themselves cannot redeem our great tree. Narrow Pied invaders were seen ravaging the Benefil Barrow Den. Tucked in the hill to the west, the slumbering druids will be trapped in the Emerald Dream for eternity, unaware of their fate unless we help. The delicate hibernation ritual cannot be broken without the relics of waking. Journey to the den and retrieve the Raven Claw Talisman, the Black Feather Quill, the Sapphire Sky, the Ruin of Nesting. The druids store them in sacred chests. Return them to me and I will prepare the awakening. Oh. The gnarled pine aggression is limiting our options. None of our kind are eager to bring blade and arrow against creatures that were once our friends. But I grow fearful that they are going to set their sights on Dalinar soon. The biggest concern to me are the fur bogs in Banafell Hollow and Banafell Borrow Dens. I need you to travel to the west, make your way into the Borrow Den, and kill as many of the gnarled pine as you can. We probably won't have many more chances to limit their strength. Be swift. Some of the huntresses have already made their way to the Banafell Borrow Den. They will find you when you get inside. Go ahead and speak to Shitari to secure right there. Hello again, Smashy Pants. Have you completed your task? It is only natural that our race, once immortal and revered, would struggle with regarding ourselves in the humble manner that we likely should. We must remember to embrace our connection with nature and with the loon and push aside our mortal shortcomings. A friend of mine, the Sister Aquini, is training to be a priestess of the moon in Darmathus. She left Dolmenar to study in the temple last year. Her letters say she is doing well and learning much, but she misses home and her old friends. I've put together a book of her favorite recipes from Dolmenar. If you have had time, would you take them to her in Darnassus? You can rent the hippogriff from, Del from Fidelio. He's in the center of town, just across from here. Fidelio. Sounds a little too much like Felicio. It's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. I've been working in the soul. Rock and roll. to the right, dodge to the left, mystic, get smashed! <laughs> Slam, give 
Slaps. I'm running. Got a small blue pouch. Yeah. Uh, my furball, you chasing me? Save me, mommy. Save me, Alpha. Save the town cruise. Baby Jesus. I had hoped it was gonna give me some gear. <laughs> oh shit. I am the Gnarl by Mystics. Must have returned what is mine. Please retrieve the emerald so that I can repair my Dreamcatcher. Now that I can repair my Dreamcatcher. Thank you, Miss Nash. Whee! Let's Of the Punisher. I need to finish that shit. It's been out for months now and I still haven't finished it. Hello, Grill. Get, uh. <laughs> you know, I'm just throwing these of these things and it's causing roots to burst up and eat them. A little bit concerned on what would have happened had we fed these to, to Zen. Like, would he have exploded in vines and like imploded upon himself? That was fucking brutal.
point to point. Hearth to Villanar. Where is my hearth to That's a good question. Alright, that was fun. probably wasn't very pleasant work, but we greatly appreciate it. I fear for our dear Teldrassil. It seems to be becoming more corrupt by the day, and our ignorance to cause is plaguing the Did you kill Lord Molnes yet? It is vital that he be taken care of quickly and quietly, Smashing Pants. His continued existence is an embarrassment to us all. With Lord Molnes laid to rest, I can finally move on to other matters. Thank you, Smashing Pants. If you know what I mean, women to the left of me, women to the right, having all that I can get, but I know how to fight. I don't know. It's trouble, not women. I don't know why I said women. I'm supposed to be trouble to the left of me, trouble to the right. I can't get, and I know how to fight. Cause I'm TNT, I'm a power load. TNT, watch me explode. Down, down, down into a burning ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. That ring of fire. That ring of fire. No! Die quicker so I don't have to kill you twice. Heal bullshit. Oh, hello. Glad to see that you've arrived. Shall we get to it then? Whoa, whoa, what the shit? Oh, the Neuropine Shaman that inhabit this place have discovered a way of separating a sleeping druid spirit from the physical body. The Furbolg have annihilated my physical form and are using it to attack anyone that attempts to explore the Banath El Borrow Den. I am now trapped in the Emerald Dream, powerless to stop this. You must help me. The Neuropine Shaman carry a strange charm which is used to perform this ritual, and I'd like to examine it. Please, Smashing Prance, bring one to me. Hey, you. You should be a of nesting. The ruin of nesting is located across the rig in the upper chambers of the cell.
Gotcha. Cross the bridge. That's a box. Alright, well, that's not the ones. So. Bridge can keep going down until she shows back up. Can you tell me where to find the room in the lower section of the northern chamber? Is that a room? Is that a separate room in the lower section of the northern chamber? Oh. Bam. You, you face. Ravenclaw Castle. Located on the ledge in the upper section of the northern chamber. So we go up. Makes me something special with his cleaver. Show me how to get the fudge out of here. Guess it gets this way. Is it? Who's the nest? Show me the nest, yo. Be careful. Examine the charm and reveal the figure how to break the enchantment. I found one. Thank you, Smashy Pants. What an odd trinket this is. I can sense a vile aura emanating from it. This is a very powerful enchantment. After examining this charm, Smashy Pants, I see now what must be done. Please take it and do as I ask. You will approach the door to the nearby chamber. Inside, you will find my soulless body. Although I regret what I am about to tell you, I see no other way to free myself from the control of the Narlheim. In order for me to escape, then, you must kill my physical form. 
Once that is done, use the voodoo charm on my fallen body. After you have completed the task, please return to me. With a candlestick. Mm. I am finally free of the control of the Gnarl Pine. Thank you, Smashing Pants. My spirit may now rest peacefully forever in the Emerald Dream. Perhaps one day we may meet again, young warrior. But for now, please accept this reward as a symbol of my gratitude. Gloves, cloth, <laughs> they're better than nothing. Execute. Execute. Smashy Pants, the kidnapped druids of the town will forever be trapped in the Emerald Dream. We cannot retrieve the relics of awakening from the Manitoba Barrow down to the west. For every minute we delay, their fate comes one step closer to eternal doom. You have succeeded, young warrior. Well done. And just in time, I might add. Now the time has come to save the druids of the town. If we fail now, Smashy Pants, they will forever be lost in sleep. I shall prepare the relics of awakening and perform the ritual. For my work to take effect, the cursed beast responsible for this horrible situation must be slain. It was Ursal the Mauler who meddled with my brethren's calling, and it is Ursal the Mauler who must now pay so that they can be freed. Travel northwest on the road and find the path north into the cleft. Ursal's den will be there. Impressive! I hope my huntress has carried her weight. If we continue with this fervor, we may yet still free Teljusil from the corruption of the moon that Alexstrasza herself could not burn yeah, out. Well. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? That's very thoughtful of Naomi. For a few coins, I can arrange quick transportation to the capital by hypocrite. 
Everyone in Dolinar is so proud of Sister Aquanin. I'm certain she'll be pleased to receive a thoughtful gift from Naomi. When you're ready to travel to Darnassus, just speak to me again. For a few coins, you may hire a hippogriff to take you there. I'm told Sister Aquanin enjoys the solitude of a small plaza just south of the hippogriff master in Darnassus. Look for her there when you arrive. going on about today. <laughs> uh... Hello. May I help you? Something for me? I wonder who sent it. This is wonderful. This is the kind of thing I need to remind me of home. I can do my studies that time. I'll try one of these recipes tonight. I can't wait. We should take this short note of thanks back to Naomi. And hire a hippogriff to take you back to Dolinar. Just with the Master Leora. When you're ready to leave, she'll help you get a ride back to Dolinar. Okay. Greetings. Hmm. Ready to return to Dolinar. Take a ride back to Dolinar. It'd be easy to get you a flight back to Dolinar since you already know Fidelio and Dolinar. We'll be able to fly back whenever without any problems. Whenever you arrive in a new town, you should remember to speak to the flight master so that you can fly to and from the new location. Speak with me when you're ready to hire a hippogriff to return to Dolan. This is totally not the flight path tutorial, I swear. <laughs> Pictorial will rise again. Say, I, 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 I say you, Pictorial will rise again. Assuming you're supposed to pronounce that, but spell shit weird. Blizzard. Spelling shit weird. Feel free to browse. Welcome to Dolan our Warrior. Let me know if you need any recipes or basic cooking ingredients. Smashy pants, you're back from Darnassus. Sounds like she loved it. Thank you for bringing the book to Sister Aquanine. Smashy pants one of these days. I intend to take her up on her invitation to visit her in Darnassus. Tattooed on my back. I know you think you want to reach and then move the back to her to red. Was born in the soul of misery. I had me a name. They just gave me a number when I. Find me a 
to man the investment all my done. Hey baby, how you doing? The road that our NASA's must be kept safe. Corrupted furballs from the Gnarl Pine tribe have been attacking travelers recently. Important news in commerce travels to and from Darnassus by way of this road daily. We cannot afford to have a rogue band of heathens terrorizing people. Take up arms in the names of the sacred forest warrior. Their den lies up this northern path. Slay these gnarled pine ambushers and report back to me. I was born in the soul of misery. Had me a name. It just gave me the number. Skin is stout, barely seventeen. I could only love the stones and they speak drunk and high again. Up and then up for seven nights and I. I've served the good people of Dolinar and Darnass as well. Brave warrior is a member of the Sentinel Force of Teldrassil. I salute you.
Flashy man, so you've proven yourself a most worthy and able warrior, a night elf who f follows down the path of honor. As such, you are certain to find great glory in this world. Ursal's death brings safety to our slumbering druids, but the source of his corruption yet remains within our forest. With time, I trust that you will find this evil and cleanse it for the sake of all our people. You are destined for great things. Yeah. I'll find a good spot for this. This doesn't exist. Uh, are you heading to the south to Lake Alameth? If so, then I have a task I might ask of you. My colleague, Denalan, has a camp along the eastern lane of the lake. There he is studying and experimenting on the plant life of Teldrassil. He requested a package of rare earths from Darnassus, and it was late, only recently arriving here. Dolinar, can you take the package to him? I shall say that. I want to take smithing in this turn. Okay, we'll take smithing in this turn. You have something for me? Ah, it's here. I've waited for this rare earth for quite some time. I hope it's still fresh. Thank you for bringing it to me, Smashy Pants. You are a night elf who is generous with her time. Let us place this rare earth in my planta. Thank you again, Smashy Pants. This rare earth will be very helpful for my experiments. The timberlings of Teldrassil are elementals of nature. In some ways, they reflect the natural order of plants and the animals on our great tree. So it is disturbing to see how angry the timberlings are, particularly considering that things should be healing. I want to help hunt down the source. I have been working on the different methods of nurturing plants and would like to try them on timberling seeds. Please, can you gather seeds from the timberlings around Lake Amethel and bring them to me? Small timberlings are sprouting around the waters of Lake Alameth. I'm afraid these sprouts are beyond help. We should try to clear them from the land before they go large enough to cause trouble. When you are wandering the lake, if you see any timberling sprouts, please take them and keep them our land clean. Yes.
Speed back of them timberlings around, man. Clean sprouts. Actual timberlings. Hanging from beneath the fronds of this glowing plant is a large round fruit. Valoran. Denalon would want to study this fruit, you are certain. Hey, there's a timberling. <laughs> Woke up, said leave this one alone. Uh, right away, that I was bad in the bone. I had the bone. Bad in the bone. Bad in the bone. It hurts. Before I met you. Yeah, no, baby. Before I'm through, the old's pretty baby, leaving yours alone. Tell you, honey, that I'm bad in the bone, bad in the bone. Bubba bye, bubba bubba bye, bubba bubba bye. Bad in the bone. As you and beg, and the young girl steals, the old woman blush, and the young girl steals. We yours, pretty baby, yours and yours alone. I'm here to tell you, honey, that I'm bad in the bone. Bad in the bone. Greetings. Do you have the seeds? I'm eager to plant them. You got them! This is good! I'm hoping that careful study might lead me to understanding from where the timberling's corruption stems. I will plant these seeds in special soil I've prepared. I believe the seeds will sprout into timberlings who are much more docile. Perhaps later you can see the results. Smashy Pants, you can take one of the seeds you brought me to my friend Relian Greenspire. He is a druid that resides at the Wellspring Hobble, and when last we spoke, he revealed his interest in my work with the Timberlings. He had some ideas himself, and he will appreciate a specimen seed to work with. Thank you, Smashy Pants. I hope that someday you will see the fruits of my labors. You will find Wellspring Hobble along the road, heading west out of Dalinar on the way to Narnassus. Hello, Smashy Pants. Have you found any sprouts near the waters? That's a lot. I'm afraid they're spreading <laughs> at a dangerous rate. I hope I can solve the riddle of what is tainting them. Thank you for help, Smashy Pants. The land is a cleaner place for my efforts. Smashy Pants, you look like you have something to tell me. You have news concerning the Timberlings. You found this on Teldrassil. Intriguing. This fruit is exotic. Perhaps its seeds were brought here from far off. Perhaps even as far as Azeroth. And there's something about the fruit. It seems to have reacted very strangely with the soil of Teldrassil. Thank you, Smashy Pants. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must study this further. I can pick my specialization. I'm gonna pick Fury. Yeah. 
fuck yo. Hey, you. You must now visit the moon well that rests upon the bows of the oracle tree, far to the northwest, the first and most powerful of our wells. Its waters are said to possess the very essence of a loon's power. Retrieve a file of its waters and return to me. I will meet you at the crossroads in front of Arnassus when your task is complete. Yo. How may I help you? Ah, a timberling seed. I wanted to try growing one of these to help Denwell in his studies. Uh, but I'm afraid I've discovered that a corruption has grown in many of the timberlings, and seeds from such creatures carry their parents' taint. They are beyond my talents to repair. Denalon is very skilled that things uh, grow. He may find a cure for future timberlings. He may be our only hope. There is a malevolence growing in the timberlings. We are trying to find the source, but until we do, in order to keep Tilder still safe, we must cut down the timberlings who are beyond help. Those that wander the Wellspring Lake to the north are the most tainted. They must be removed. Destroy the timberlings you find there and gather the mossy tumors growing upon them. Bring the tumors to me so that I may be burned. So that they may be burned. Blech. Not a Tuma. She's on my foot. Got to find a reason. A reason things went wrong. Got to find a reason why my money's all gone. I got a donation. I can still get high. It's not wrong. That's on the wrong key. That's why that's not working. Is. Some will love the one you got, cause you might get run over, or you might get shot. I'm not gonna get it off my chest. I don't have a battle with my bulletproof vest. Example of if we fix it, give it up to charity. God, it's within my reach. I'm not gonna have a straight Long Beach. I'm gonna get what you deserve.
love how it said this is a 1 to 10 leveling area, and these things are level 11. Just close my eyes, my whole world disappears. Father of man, tell me back to the days when I was still a golden boy back before you went away. I remember blue skies walking on black. Remember when you held me high? I love to hear you talk. You would take me to the moon. Hello. Where do you go? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Over time, Stagcom only grew more disconnected from our people. Some pose that he blames us, his people, for the loss of his son long ago during the War of the Sifting Sands. Others cite rumors of his escalating conflicts with Tyranna Whisperwind, his shining light of our people, our leader in Arnassus. But many druids of the Sonarian Circle stand firm that he wants only what is best for all of the Kaldari, and serve him unerringly towards that end. Thangdril Staghelm carries the burden of our sins and our follies, and in so doing deserves the respect of us all. I never understood you then, and I guess I never will. Being attacked by a spider. I guess I'll read my second. I was a special small group of sentinels here to protect the oracle tree from the harpies that have made nests all around the area. Little by little, we are trying to push them back. The oracle tree attempted to send a runner but to Darnassus with a report. The messenger was attacked and killed by a group of harpies. If you feel up to the task, go to their nests, slay them, and return their belts as proof of your deeds. I know this one was. Lady Sothra was once beloved of a loot. Graceful and pure, the spider spun her silver threads through the moonlight, catching the evening mist. The silvery dew had strong healing powers and was kept at a nearby temple. But of late, Sathra has descended into madness. Her future generations are now threatened as well. Find Lady Sathra, smashy pants, and end her suffering. She dwells northeast of here, near the river. Gather her silvery spinnerets and bring them back to me. Disappears, father of mine. Tell me how you sleep with the children you abandon and the life that's on you beats. Never be safe. Uh, kill that thing too. All right, come at me, bro. Fronds on this plant shimmer in the forest light, giving it a twisting, pulsing aura. You believe that Nelan would want a specimen of this. Oh, wow.
be your head woman. Fuck up. Jerky! I need that, right? Eat the shit out of that. I regret the task that I have asked you to carry out, but Lady Sathra is beyond hope. It is our hope to offer the sacrifice of the spinnerets to Elune. With this sacrifice, Elune will bless Sathra so that she might be reborn and at peace. The forest mourns for Lady Sathra, but it was something that had to be done. I hope now that she finds rest in peace. Thank you, Tushy Palace. Their slashing talons and piercing beaks have proved too difficult match for your own abilities, Smashy Pants, but I have faith that you will not fail in this task. I am impressed by what you accomplished here in so short a time, Smashy Pants. Would that I could ask you to remain here to assist me with my duties, but I know in my heart that you're gathered your tasks lie ahead of you. Kitty and my food and I wanna touch it. Kitty and my food and I wanna touch it. Kitty and my food and I wanna touch it. Kitty and my food and I wanna touch it. Touch it, kitty at my foot and I wanna touch it. Kitty at my foot and I wanna touch it. Kitty at my foot and I want to touch it. Touch it, oh, meow, 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 meow. 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 Why does my dog satisfy? Why are you been looking so satisfied? Now stay in his little, little round eyes. Now stay in his little yellow round eyes. Now see why they need to so satisfied. And I will flash me who my jeans. And I will stretch me who my jeans. Oh. To be the presence of the Oracle Tree, it is almost to feel wisdom but take form. Along with the druids, the oracle tree has been carefully monitoring the growth of Teldrassil. Our observations have been disheartening, but all is with, not without hope. The tree is indeed recovering since its blessing, but the growth is still somehow stunted, hindered. We suspect some portion of the corruption still remains within the tree, waiting to be cleansed. We simply need to find it. 
There is one last moon well that I would have you visit. It is directly south of here, on the shores of the pools of Arlithrian. Be wary as you seek out the well, and keep your weapons close at hand. I sense a growing corruption from the bows of Southern Teldrassil. When you have the water, I want you to bring it to a familiar face that you'll see at the pools. She wishes to battle the corruption, and ask for your personal wisdom. Jeez. Touch it. Kitty, 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 You've been to Wellspring Lake Smashing Pants. Have you been hunting the Timberlings there? Well down, the tumors are the symptom of the Timberlings' disease. They are filled with poison that we must cleanse from our new land. I will dispose of these tumors. Thank you, Smashing Pants. Both one hander. A shark fell out of season. You have something for me? Where did you get this? I have seen a plant like this since a sojourn I made to the Swamp of Sorrows decades ago. It's amazing that a specimen made its way to Teldrassil and it's grown to such size. Thank you, Smashy Pants. Forgive my shortness of words, but there's a test I would like to perform on this frond. Wooken Skull. I figured it out. I had to rush here to find you. It's so simple, really. The corruption has spread from a timberling to timberling, but there is but one that is the source. Oaken Scowl. He's been poisoned by the largest tumor I've ever seen. I would call it gargantuan, even. Oaken Scowl used to reside in a cave near my lake, but has since found his way to a nook to the northeast of here, Smashy Pants. Hunt down Oaken Scowl and collect the tumor. Remove his source of corruption from my home. May the stars guide you. In weeks past, all of those living atop Teltrasil have found their memories blurry, as if time itself seized the portion of their lives. We break from this haze to find that Fandral Staghelm and many of his closest followers have disappeared without a word. But in this place, Shando Stormrage awoke from the dream and returned to his beloved Tyranda Whisperwind. And with his return came Alex Straza and Isera to, at long last, offer their blessing upon Teltrasil. Though small corruption lingers, desperately longing to be cleansed, the bows of Teldrassil itself seem changed. Croak has begun anew. None know what to expect next, but with Malfurion and Tyrande you are united, a new hope dawns on the Caldorai. Hope for lasting relief from the shadow that has been cast on our people for so long. It's Terranelia! It is good to see you again, Smashy Pants. I see that you have succeeded in collecting the waters of the moon wells on behalf of Korathos Moonrage. I hope you have learned much along the way. Indeed, I have spoken to Korathos on my way here, and he has gifted me with the waters you have been gathering. They may well prove useful sooner than we'd imagined. Strangely, the growing corruption we felt is actually a good sign. Teldrassil has been burdened with its taint for a long time, and thanks to the blessing of the dragon aspects, only now is it coming to the surface in a form that we might strike against. The Teldrassil purged itself of the corruption that was preventing its growth for all these years, and the malevolent growth has formed near the tree's edge, south of here. We have an opportunity to strike out and purge the source of fell moss that has tainted the gnarled pine, the timberlings, and everything else. With the waters that you've collected from the moon wells and the renewed strength of Teldrassil himself, I can grant you great power for a short while. Put an end to the corruption. What is this? Stars from the sky on all targets of them, 30 yards. Mm. 
Loon be praised. Everything I had encountered suggested the corruption to be buried deep within Telder Soul itself. I had worried we might never be able to strike at the source without killing the world tree. I am thankful I was wrong. Malfurion was the start to the great turn of fortune. Perhaps I will seek him out before I depart to the wilds again. Thank you, Smashy Pants. Thank you for everything you have done. You are sure to be a great hero someday. Our tasks are done here for now. The spotter proved to be of great importance, but it wasn't originally meant for me. Go ahead and bring it back to Korathos at the crossroads. I'm sure he'll like you to deliver it to its original destination. Good to see you again. I sense that Turin Derella's task went smoothly with you by her side. Thank you for returning to me so swiftly. I have to ask you, shall we? It has been an undeniable honor to have met you. You are a testament to the nobility of your race. Go now and finish the final task. Take the waters of Turin to Whisperwind and Darnassus. That. There he is, I see him. Let's be friends, Ogun Scowl.
I have this gargantuan tumor. Gargantuan tumor. It's a tumor. It's a tumor. Tumor, tumor, tumor. Tumor, tumor, tumor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know. Located open scowl yet. I knew you were more than capable of ridding the lake of the horrid beast. It is a disgust a distressing situation. Oaken Scowl was once a great leader amongst his kind, but corruption does not discriminate between the lowly and the noble. The size of this tumor is quite disturbing, but I must study it to learn more about the disease that subsists the Timberlane population. Thank you. City. Ugh, trade chat. Fear the trade chat. Another time. I know how to think about it when it ain't working. I'm doing on for Jaina now? Is that what I'm reading? Oh, they each their own, I guess. I'm gonna get bludgeoned to death. Like, I've got a kendo stick and a fucking mallet. Thump, 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 thwack. able and perhaps willing to help. Alberdine has finally fallen, though many of its inhabitants departed long ago when the city first suffered the brunt of the cataclysm. Many of the more stubborn residents are yet unaccounted for, and it now appears that the city may have been overrun by water elementals. My sisters need help rescuing the survivors. Please, warrior, use the western tree to reach Root Thurin, then speak to Vespristus to secure flight to Lord and all. Be swift! <laughs> How fair you, young one. Ah, the blessed waters from our moon wells. You have more witness to the spirit of the Kaldorai then. In recent times, I've come to find that the spirit offers more questions than it does answers, but such is the continuing nature of discovery that drives us in our darkest hours. I will offer you the simplest answers that I can. Malfurion has returned to me. To us. But harsh times are yet upon us. Staghelm is gone, and the world is racked with pain. Malfurion has much to mend, and he will need help. Whee. Falling. Ah. 
Alright, so apparently we are done with Elder Sill. Um, I'll grab the root therm flight path one here. I'm gonna go back into Darnassus, um, find a vendor, dump my crap, uh, take a little break, take a pee, have a sandwich, edit this down a little bit, maybe try to upload it to the YouTubes, maybe I'll do that later, I don't know. Um, but I'll come back and do something. I don't know if we'll move on to the next zone or if I'll. I don't know yet. I've decided. Figured out. Um, tell them. Just, uh, whatever. You wish to buy, trade. There we go. Until next time. We are bound by a common enemy. 